My name is Sebastian Bates and I'm the founder and head instructor of the Warrior Academy. Over the last year, we've interviewed over 1,500 parents and it's become abundantly clear that so many children from the age of 5 to 18 are going through bullying or have been affected by bullying. Statistically, a child is now more likely to be bullied than not. A huge part of that is down to socialising online, with a massive 70% of teenagers claiming to have been affected by cyberbullying. Bullying is such an important subject matter because it affects the lives of so many parents and children. children. And I believe that bullying can really make or break a young person's character. A child can either overcome bullying and develop a really confident mindset, or they can suffer with bullying, have a low self-esteem, and a strong negative inner critic that can completely shape their happiness and opportunity in life. We wanted to create six quick, simple steps that parents can implement at home to help mentor their child through bullying. So we hope you find them useful. Step one. Firstly, a lot of students don't report themselves being bullied because they feel they are to blame. Secondly, their concept of why bullying occurs is completely wrong. They look at bullying as a sign of strength, when actually it's a character flaw. It's an insecurity. It's normally because the bully is missing something. And so young people need to have the approach of looking at the bully with sympathy and understanding, rather than reacting with emotions, feeling upset and being angry. Simply changing the position of the bully from someone we fear to someone we feel sorry for changes the context entirely and suddenly the fear stops completely. Instead, our reaction to the bully isn't aggressive or upsetting, which is exactly what the bully is after. In fact, our reaction is calm, understanding, and sympathetic, and that changes the dynamic straight away. Step two, body language is everything, and a bully is far more likely to choose a victim than someone who appears confident and strong. So we must teach our children that the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they hold eye contact and shake hands is all vital to how they appear as a more confident person. So this is something you can do at home with them. By focusing on your child's body language at home, just by watching them, helping them and encouraging them to make small changes will help them appear more confident in class or in public. And I guarantee you that by improving their body language and helping them appear more confident, they're going to be less likely to become a victim of bullying. Step three. One of the things you can do is to teach your child to have quick, snappy comebacks. Just one or two words that they can use when they are being bullied. Something they can use to respond to the bully, to stop the bullying from escalating and to stop the bully in their tracks. It shouldn't be rude or aggressive. But at a time when they are feeling really emotional or upset, having something to say as a reaction will stop the bully and stop them from becoming a victim. Step four, a big part of helping your child through bullying is in preparing them. It's highly unlikely that you are going to be there at a time when your child is being bullied. And so preparation is so key. If your child is being bullied already, then role playing games are an excellent way to help your child prepare for the situation. They will actually do two fantastic things for you and your child. Firstly, children can often find it difficult to vocalize how they are being bullied, or they may not want to talk about it. In fact, they may be shy, embarrassed, or a bit scared to talk about it. But by making it into a game, suddenly the topic is way more accessible for you as a parent. And actually, if you take on the role of the victim and they take on the role of the bully, you're gonna get a valuable insight into what a typical situation is that they're going through. The second great thing about this game is that you're going to be able to implement and practice some of the quick snappy comebacks that you learnt in step three. And you'll also get a chance to teach your child the right and wrong way to behave. When they take on the role of the bully, they will learn how it feels from this perspective and how powerful the quick comebacks can be. They will also get a chance to see how a confident person can react to a bully and take on this persona of a confident person themselves. Step five, at some point you might find that it's too late and your child can't overcome the bullying on their own, but often it's their word against the bullies. 
So it's really important to log any incidences of bullying they have been through to avoid this situation from happening. So always remember the five W's, and that's who, what, why, when, and witnesses. It's really important that there are other people out there who know what you're going through. Step six, the community your child surrounds themselves with will go a long way to helping them overcome bullying. One of the things that can have the biggest impact is developing a community through a sport or a club outside of their normal school community that your child can be a part of. Through this club, they should feel supported. They should set and achieve goals and their confidence should grow. And by being part of this community, they should be developing their character. It should also be a community your child can be a part of for years. A class or club that is likely to benefit your child for over six years is perfect. And so that will help them through the typical transitions they're going to go through, like the transition from primary school to secondary school, like weathering the storm of adolescence, as well as overcoming any periods of bullying that, that may occur. So there we have it, the six steps to help mentor your child and to help them overcome bullying. They are, number one, putting bullying into context. Number two, body language and appearing confident. Number three, quick snappy comebacks. Number four, role playing games. Number five, keeping a record of incidences. And number six, being part of a strong community outside of school.